Hello, lovely people. Good morning. I just wanted to share my experience um, with eczema. So um, maybe, you know, some of you can relate to this. Um, I've never suffered with eczema my entire, like throughout my childhood or anything like that. I actually got it in my 30s and it was unexpected and, and you know, out of the blue. And what happened was it started to manifest on my wrists and then basically on my arms, it grew all the way on my arms and then it went through my whole body. And for the first time ever, I could relate with people that had eczema because if you've never had eczema, it is horrible. I felt like I was being burnt alive. My skin felt, um, that, that my skin felt like it was on fire and I couldn't put out the fire. And I went to the doctor, they told me it was allergy. I developed an allergy to pollen. Um, and all of the even healers that I was chatting to were encouraging me. Liz, I have it. Okay, so just bear with me. Um, so everyone that I was speaking to was encouraging me to, um, to take steroids and to take antihistamines and everything like that. And I felt a little bit discouraged, especially with some of the healers out there uh, encouraging me to take medication. I'm all for medication and, and, and you know, surgery and all of that um, when it's necessary. I'm not saying that I'm against um, all of that, but I believe with my whole soul that everything that you are experiencing, including um, diseases and conditions, is a result of emotional wounds. So me being me <laughs> and doing my thing and, you know, practicing what I preach, I actually decided to go into the pain. And this was not easy because I was in an excruciating pain. Liz, I'm not sure if you've had it all over your body, but it was all over my body. I mean, I couldn't wear clothes. It was that painful. I couldn't even sleep. Like sitting down was painful. Um, and this process, um, I resisted, of course, you naturally you resist pain. So I was in a lot of resistance. It took about two good months for me to fully Res, um, um, go into the pain. So basically I used my intention, I used the heart prayers which I talk about and I really surrendered to just being in pain and going into my skin and really feeling what is it um, that is beneath this because I believe that this was a manifestation of uh, an emotional wound. And basically what had and, and I had managed to access what was beneath it and there was a lot of grief and I started to, to grieve basically. And um, what the insight that I had was actually self-hatred. I had a lot of internalized self-hatred and because of what all the work that I was doing and healing and um, a lot of it had to do with, you know, childhood abuse and all of that um, and the way that I was treated, I then started to treat myself that way. So I started to hate myself. And this was an externalization of my own self-hatred. And I really, like when I got it and when I really got beneath the eczema and really accessed the wound, I grieved my heart out for a whole day. And basically the next day, my whole body, the eczema on my body disappeared. It disappeared. <laughs> It healed overnight and um, I'm sharing this because a lot of people when it comes to physical conditions um, they don't realize that um, it's emotional wounds that's actually creating and causing their physical condition and this just re um, uh, reinforced my belief in the work that I do yes it was uh, uncomfortable it was not easy by the way I was resisting for two months um, but just through, through prayer and through perseverance and through my intention and praying and really using my will to, to fully surrender to the pain is what, I, what allowed me to get beneath it and really access what was underneath, which was severe self-hatred basically. And I, I had to grieve the, the self-hatred that I had towards myself. I hope that makes sense, um, Liz. Um, this may not be the same for you and the, the, the reasoning may not be the same for everyone because when I first started working on the eczema and the skin, I actually thought it was related to um, inadequacy or self-worth and, and other things. I thought it was 
maybe you know mother father stuff um, but actually when I processed the wound and when I was in it and releasing it um, what I realized it was my own self-hatred um, uh, towards myself and how I was treating myself internally I wasn't doing this um, externally because I had a lot of um, you know, I was looking, at, I look after myself physically, I train, I eat good, I eat, you know, drink plenty of water. I, so on the outside, I was looking after myself and, and loving myself, let's say, but on the inside, emotionally, I was still emotionally um, hating myself. I hope that makes sense. And it was the, the grief of the amount of time, like 30 years of hating myself internally, um, and all that time that I spent, you know, all that energy that I spent just hating myself, um, that is what I had to grieve. And um, what I understand now about love is that love has to include you as well. So if you're not um, loving yourself, then you still don't know what love is. Um, so yeah, so this was really um, the core of the full body eczema. And the next day, the whole body, the eczema disappeared. And I was just in awe of, once again, this process of healing emotional wounds. So um, if you're suffering from eczema, um, I will say that a lot of the times when it comes to children, what I have seen is that um, it, 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 it is generally, if you're a child suffering from eczema, it is generally projected emotions from your parents. So it's actually your parents' emotions, not yours. Eczema, asthma, tantrums. I've seen this a lot with clients. Um, but for me, the eczema developed in my 30s, and I never had it in my childhood. Um, I know that to me was more about how I was treating myself. Um, I, I hope I made sense, and I hope this helps some of you. I hope this inspires some of you to go deeper. Like I said, it was not easy. It was very challenging. It was very painful, and I chose not to go down the medication route. I chose not to, you know, take steroids and, and antihistamines and all of that. Um, so yeah, so it takes a lot of, um, yeah, courage, perseverance, and, and I was really in a lot of pain. I will say that it wasn't easy. Um, so I'll just hop on and see what Liz here had to say. Only on my hands, it has gotten worse recently. No, just my palms and sometimes my soles. That was bad enough. Itchy and burning. Yeah, it burns, doesn't it? Um, mine started as a child asthma and eczema it felt up very badly okay so um i would um uh i would look at mother wounding um your mother's unrepressed un grief with asthma because asthma is to do with the lungs it's to do with life it's repressed grief normally um steroids is like putting a cork on a sh on a shaken up champagne bottle yeah exactly i did not want to do that i chose not to do that i chose to um, to go into the pain um, but yeah I, uh, and and skin normally um, I mean I developed mine later on in life so I'm not really sure and I'd have to know um, uh, my mother and I are not speaking okay um, and that doesn't matter if you're not speaking you can still do the healing yeah um, but what I found in childhood uh, conditions like eczema asthma and tantrums it's very much linked to um, the mother's emotions that she's not willing to feel. Yeah, so then the child then takes it on. Asthma, a lot has to do, like I said, with grief work, with sadness. Eczema, it will depend. Um, but I just wanted to share my experience to see if it helps anyone. And um, so next time it flares up, Liz, I would encourage you to, um, I know it's painful because I've experienced it now. I never realized how painful it was especially all over my body um, to go into the pain um, instead of resisting it because when you resist it it gets worse and that's when it lingers but if you just go into it and i mean you're already in pain right <laughs> so you might as well surrender to it and and you know and go go into it that's what i did and, and you do that with your intention with your desire i had the desire like i want to get to the core of this that was my intention i want to get beneath like what is beneath this this pain what is beneath this eczema that i am suppressing and so use your intention use your heart will and just get beneath it and i will say it hasn't come back since 
Um, so yeah, and once you really deal, I believe, once you really deal with something at the causal level, at the emotional level, um, the, the um, causal emotional level, because you can deal with some top layers, um, but I mean at the, the causal emotion, which is always grief, it's acceptance, um, uh, accepting grief, um, not victim grief cry. Once you deal with it at the causal level, that's it. You only have to do it once and it will, it will never come back. Um, so yeah, this is what I wanted to share. I hope it helps and I hope, um, as, as I know that it's difficult, it's very challenging and very painful, but you only have to process the wound once in order to break free from this pattern. And I hope this encourages you to, um, to do that. Anyway, um, Liz, thank you. You're so welcome. I hope this helps. Um, and yeah, that's it for today, guys. Bye for now.